Good morning all the way from Orlando, Florida. Today we're gonna go ahead and just walk around and see the nice sights. There's gonna be a lot of people today because it is Christmas day right now. All right, the video is gonna be composed of all the nice places you can take pictures in, Diagon Alley. So we're just gonna go ahead and jump into Diagon Alley and see what best places to take pictures in the Wizarding World. So if you guys have not followed me on Instagram, I suggest you, go, you guys go ahead and do so. The link is down below in the description box. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into this video. If you guys are a Harry Potter fan and a theme park fan, don't forget to go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below. I post Harry Potter content on a daily basis. And without further ado, let's jump into this video. All right, so first photo op is right here. One of two models of the night bus. There's only two in the world. One of them is right here in Orlando, Florida. The other one is in the Warner Brothers lot in London. My idea of a fixture would be obviously back here where you can see the face and you can do the whole i'll show you guys what i'm talking about right now more or less my idea of a good picture is unique and not that many people do it show them the one that that i did more or less <laughs> and more or less that's what i was talking about it's super funny and only people that have watched the movie can relate with that one obviously you could go ahead and take a picture with the conductor over here of the night bus this could also be a really good picture right here of the night bus so if you guys want to check out these pictures they are going to be in my instagram the description is down below And just like she said, this is probably the biggest photo op in all of the Wizarding World. It's right here at Diagon Alley. They have Ollivanders, they have the Daily Prophet, they have Flourish and Blots bookstore right there. They also have Nocturne Alley over here. You can take a picture right under the, the arrow. If you want to take a picture in front of the Leaky Cauldron, the Leaky Cauldron is right over there. There's a lot of photo ops to do right here in Diagon Alley alone. Let's go into Nocturne Alley. Actually, let's go through here. Perfect picture right there. And this is the darkest place in all of Diagon Alley. Amazingly, my camera can see in the dark, but I can't, so I have to see the screen to know where I'm walking. But right here, we are turning into the darkest place in all of Diagon Alley, is right here, Borgen and Bergs. It's probably the darkest shop in all Diagon Alley, being not only the light, but they do sell a lot of dark arts uh, objects, enchanted stuff and cursed items as well. Obviously, since it is Christmas day, they have a lot of decorations here. Oh, because the water's about to drop. The water's gonna drop. Ooh. <laughs> Obviously, being in Diagon Alley, we had to take a detour to get some ice cream for this girl. Look at it, look at this. I'm not gonna eat it. It's already dripping. Oh man, how is that? It's pretty good. I'm not a big fan of the eucalyptus lavender one. I think that's what it's called. It kind of tastes like essential oils, but it's okay. It's fine. And what's the bottom one? The bottom one is clouded cream, clouded cream, but it tastes more like yogurt, like vanilla yogurt. Yeah, I like I like the bottom one better. Yeah. Another amazing picture that no one really knows about is this kind of like room of requirement type of. I guess opening and no one really takes a picture. There's a elf up there. All right, I'm just gonna pose there real quick so you guys can see more or less of the type of picture. There it is. The type of picture that we guys could take in here. Another photo op is obviously to a Grimwald place right, right before Diagon Alley's entrance over there. And you have Creature over there getting out and showing himself. Look at Umbridge. That's so funny. They have Umbridge. This is really is really busy today. But this is another photo op here in Hagrid's bike. Another spot. Well, this one's really hidden. Is right outside of Diagon Alley. Is right here. The leaky. The entrance to the leaky cauldron is right here. And. Not that many people, pa well a lot of people pass right by it and it's hidden. So if you guys ever come through King's Cross, it's right there, right next door. It's like a little um, vinyl store. Alright guys, so just a reference real quick that there's an exit and an entrance right through the side, right through the Blue Man Group section. Instead of, if, if it is a busy day just like it is now, 
you can go right through here instead of having to go through the main entrance there's no one here you can just walk in they give you the thing they do the fingerprinting and all and it's way quicker than if you were to go in through the main entrance definitely it's a, a time saver for me and I just found that out as, as, as I was walking out so I definitely recommend you guys to go ahead and try that out next time you walk in all right guys so we came here yesterday and the green eggs and ham tater tots and who has is officially open i recorded a little bit of it it is finally open and basically we got two who hashes for free uh what else uh we what? have the s'mores which we left in the hotel microwave no you didn't yeah but that wouldn't really taste like the same um what else the who hash we got buffalo tater tots like that. I really, I was really fond of the s'mores. It wasn't so sugary, but I love the sugary. Yeah, no, the s'mores are too sugary for me. They also have pizza tots, which is basically a pizza with tater tots, green eggs and ham tots, uh, which is green eggs, diced ham, white cheese, and basically everything else is the same thing: uh, buffalo chicken tots and hoo hash, which is corned beef, onions, white cheese sauce and scallions and with tater tots obviously and the s'mores nutella being s'mores with obviously the graham crackers and stuff like that but no everything was amazing all right guys the grinch is about to show up oh man here he is oh <laughs> That's gonna be a wrap on today's video. I am finally in the garage. That means it's time to head back to Miami. If you guys are Harry Potter fans, I definitely urge you guys to go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below because I post everything Harry Potter related. And if you guys wanna follow me on Instagram, links down below in the description. And without further ado, I'll see you guys in Miami and I'm out of here.